Hello Year 6 and welcome to the third episode of Getting You Ready for the Embrook. Uh, I'm working from home today so I'm not at school but luckily uh, my son who is also in Year 6 has stepped in to do the filming for me and uh, you'll be pleased to know that I always like to maintain standards so even when I'm at home relaxing with my family I will always have my shirt, my tie and my Embrook badge on. It's very important. Uh, we've had some questions in from uh, a few of you who are joining us in September and I want to try and get through those. One of the questions was about the timing of the day. So uh, we start at 8.20, which is probably a bit earlier than you're used to at the moment. Uh, and we have a registration period for 20 minutes. And then we have five one hour lessons through the day uh, with a break in the morning and a break at lunch. Um, and then we had another question about how food works in the school, how you can buy food. And the good news is it is just like any self-service restaurant. You go in, you choose what you want from the various options that are available, and then you just pay at the end. And uh, your parents can set up how they pay for that. But uh, the nice thing for parents is whilst the children get choice, uh, the parents get to see what you buy. So uh, you will be found out if you're not buying uh, what you should be buying. Uh, the only other thing that we had through was actually an idea rather than a question about uh, a tour of the school. So one of the things that Mr Johnson's going to try and do in a future episode is get a hold of a drone and take you on a virtual tour of the school. So we're going to look today at the Business and Humanities blog. This is quite dear to me, this is where I live and where I work and I'm really excited to show you all our areas. We're going to start with geography, so follow me. So this is one of our three geography classrooms. In geography you'll learn everything from map reading skills to volcanoes to more, um, rather than physical geography, more human geography. Issues surrounding migration, issues surrounding ecology and uh, pollution and such. So we've got a really strong geography team that are going to get really excited about everything to do with the world. Welcome to one of our history classrooms. Uh, this is Mr Matthew's classroom. Now in history, uh, you'll be learning things from the Romans all the way through to uh, Nazi Germany in World War II. Now this is Mr Matthew's classroom and he loves bringing it to life with artefacts. We can see some Roman armour in the back there. Uh, the history teachers are very amazing at making sure that you are engaged and it's not just all about history, it's all about bringing it to life and making you feel what those people felt at the time. Welcome to RS or Religious Studies. Now in Religious Studies you'll learn all about different religions uh, and their views on the world and what they believe and what they study but as well as that you're going to look at more philosophy and ethical debates and these ethical debates range from things small about how we behave and how we interact with others to big things like conflict and war and things that necessarily don't have a right answer. And here we have business studies. Now the business studies rooms are all computer rooms which means that we can get access to really important information that's really pertinent to now. I mean had we had a business lesson six weeks ago, it would have been very different to a business lesson today, given everything that's happened. But we learn about all managing an organisation that's very small, just one person, up to big multinational corporations like Microsoft or Apple and how they operate and how they make the decisions that they make. Well, we hope you enjoyed your tour of business and humanities. We've got loads of subjects that fit together. There's even more subjects that we do that you'll get access to when you hit your A-levels, uh, like sociology, criminology, government and politics, psychology. So we've got a whole host that we look at here, but essentially our guiding principles are looking at human behaviour. What do humans do and how does that affect everything else? Thanks to Mr Johnson for a fantastic tour of another part of the school. We will be back after half term with more videos and hopefully more news about how we can do more of the transition work that we would normally do in the summer term. Until then, have a fantastic half term holiday and we will see you soon.